hello everybody. Um, my name is Kasper Hanung, uh, and I'm with TaylorMade Software. Um, and what we are accomplishing in Nextcloud is to enable CAD collaboration. And, and what is CAD? Computer aid design. That's that's everything what we live in. That's our streets. It's this building is an architectural structure that's represented in a drawing, in its construction, in its lifetime, and that is what we want to enable in in Nextcloud. Um, so the, the the problem is that many professionals in the construction real estate industries uh, and government they need to be able to share their CAD drawings and collaborate around these projects. Uh, and they want to, to need to do that in a secure basis. And this is, this is where this beautiful uh, Nextcloud platform comes in, because that gives you the secure way of handling your files. Um, what we did, uh, we tailor-made uh, with offices in Seattle and Stockholm. We have in, with a partner uh, in, in the UK and in Birmingham, uh, who has used Nextcloud as a platform, and they share their drawings among all their clients and partners around Europe. So we, we built this app for this particular purpose here. Um, we have integrated our CAD viewer, CAD conversion platform, directly inside Nextcloud. So there's no external access, thereby ensuring that all customer content is completely secure. Um, the way it works is that we've, we have our own app structure. We have set the mind types for all the, uh, the large CAT uh, uh, packages, the, the AutoCAT, the MicroStation, um, and as well as TIFF, to, uh, to our application. Uh, we, let me go here. We go in whenever people you know, click on a, on a file, we go into the next slide folder structure, put that into our system. We native code convert that into you know, cache, where after we have implemented uh, a VJS uh, encapsulation that goes into the next cloud front end, where it's then displayed. In, in display, we use uh, the vector graphics standard, W3C SVG standard, uh, which is uniformly supported on all browsers and all platforms. Uh, with that, we add a number of specific spe uh, extensions in order to, to specifically handle CAD. We need layer manipulations, we need uh, ability to measure, we need um, uh, tr transformations, so we also can handle printle to scale and stuff like that. Um, the typical use case is that a user goes in and uploads an AutoCAD or MicroStation floor plan into the system, in this case, Nextcloud. They want to display the, uh, the floor plan and do layer manipulation, measurement, printing. They want to annotate it. It's typically a process where you go in and you, you want to change things and communicate those. Uh, and in that case, co collaborate around the floor plan. And you may want to publish this drawing, this floor plan, with annotation, red lines in, an, in a process where it can be either encapsulated in the system itself into Nextcloud, or it can be externally uh, shipped off as a um, PDF. Then there are some advanced features uh, where we have where you can sort of compare uh, drawings to each other to show differences. I'll show that very much in the end. And there are some admin features that handle fonts, etc. that's very CAD specific. Um, this is typically how it looks inside, cloud, uh, inside Nextcloud. Let me get this guy here. There will be a menu bar at the top, our icon bar. We have then three skins where you can go in and do all that kind of stuff you want to do with a, with a cat, like measuring, handling of it, red lines. And we even enable the, the standard collaboration interface so you can share and talk about it inside Nextcloud. Um, this here is a typical use case where we took uh, the drawing before. We go in and the user will go in and set layers so that it only got a set number of layers for the specific case displayed. And they then go in and redline it, use the redline interface to talk about it, what they want it done with this thing here. Um, and what we do here is that we have an, an ability to go in and create a PDF that then gets stored in a markup folder for sharing. Um, and this is a process that we have integrated 
into Nextcloud, and then it's very well used. And once that is done, then that PDF with the annotation in it can then be loaded in or you know, externally distributed to the partners that are working on this, uh, with this project. Um, here I'm, I'm showing something that's, that's quite interesting. This is, this is a real data. Uh, this is a railway station somewhere in Europe on a very large national railway, railway network. And what's happening there is that uh, there is an ability that you can load in two different drawings and then compare, mathematically compare them to each other and see, you know, okay, what have been added, what have been changed, and what have been deleted. So this is in, in this particular organization uses this tool to be able to see, okay, what have happened to my signals over time whenever, you know, you you upload a new version, or this is two specific drawings that is then being, being uploaded and then compared. And, and what was very, very interesting here is that we learned today that Nextcloud version 6 has a version control now where you can name the versions, which means that you can actually, for the whole construction industry now, using stuff like this, where you can go in with a logical al algorithm and actually visually, you know, display the changes over your over the versions inside the cloud. So that's something we're going to very much explore with the developers, you know, during this time here. So I guess <laughs> that's it. We finish off here. Thank you very much. <laughs>